this week I have a bumpy landing as I fly from Pico to Sao Miguel in the Azores. I'll take you through both airports and show you a surprising offering. Buckle up back there, we're going into hyperactive. Anyone up for a flight to Sao Miguel? That's what we're going to do on this video. It's just say if you're staying in the nearby town Madalena and you're wondering how long it would take to come from the town through to uh, dropping your hire car off and then putting your bags onto the flight. It's about 40 minutes or so it's taken me this morning, including a stop to fill up with fuel. Though it was overcast at Pico, I harboured hopes of better weather over Sao Miguel and a view similar to this. Well, this is a new experience for me. Just about an hour till takeoff, and I think I'm the only person who's gone airside for the flights. Nobody else here. It feels so long sometimes, you know. Apart from the cleaners and the security staff, so it was the most relaxed going through security I've ever been. Eventually, with what, about 50 minutes till the flight? been joined by a few more here airside. If you have any suggestions for interesting flights I could take in the future on this channel, let me know in the comment section for this video. A great plus at Pico Airport is you get to see the aircraft turned around, including seeing your own bag go on board. No long queues today. The aircraft was at best half full for this flight. I like this offering of a loan of an umbrella for cover to get to the plane. Speaking of likes, why don't you? I know you want to. Before long, we were off. The taxi to the runway was pretty quick, as was the wait to take off. At the end of this video, I'll let you know exactly how much it cost me for a return flight between Sao Miguel and Pico. For now though, this was my route across the Azores between the two islands. One brief tip, while flying I use MapsMe to track my route on the flight on airplane mode. I know there are some better bespoke apps but I use maps. The cloud cover was going to deny me the chance to show you the volcano one more time. But subscribe to the channel because on a future video, I'll be looking to beat the weather and get inside the volcano. I'll also show you one of Sao Miguel's more unlikely tourist attractions, which kind of reminded me of the computer game Call of Duty. I film most of my flights with my smartphone in hand. Those hands though were going to prove to be not firmly gripped around my smartphone with this upcoming bumpy landing. Taxi time was about the same time as on Pico, but the airport is considerably busier. It's 
So how much did this flight cost me? The details are on the screen now. Clearly, as I'd seen my bag go onto the aircraft, it was no surprise that it was waiting for me in Sao Miguel. As I pick it up, can I point you in the direction of a playlist of videos on this channel about the Azores and why I think you should add it to the bucket list of places you want to visit. Add it to the list.